Hi there. Welcome to our continuing series on Talking Art with the Lotus Gallery. I'm Don, and behind the camera is my partner, Sue. Hi. And, <laughs> and today we're going to talk a little bit about plain air, plain air painting. And as an artist, there's one thing that I think is really interesting about it and that I'd like to know. So I thought I'd find out about that for you too. And that is, what is the palette? What are the colors that plein air artists use for their painting? And since I do both plein air and studio art, and I don't do lots of plein air, I thought it'd be a good idea to talk directly to the artist. So that's what we're gonna do today. Hello, my name is Guy Jackson, and I wanted to share with you my plein air palette, the colors I use when I paint plein air outdoors. I use what I call a double primary palette, and here's what it looks like. A double primary is referring to you have two of each primary. So your primaries are yellow, red, and blue. I have two of each. One is a warm and one is a cool. As you can see, I have titanium white. You definitely need that, but here's my two yellows. Cad yellow medium is warm. Yellow ochre is a cool yellow. Here's my two reds. Cad red light is a warm red. Alizarin crimson is a cool red. My two blues. Ultramarine blue is cool. Cerulean blue is warm. I also put out three secondaries as convenience colors. Orange, violet, and phthalo green. Convenience means when you're painting outdoors, plein air, you have to paint fast. And so instead of stopping to mix my own secondaries, I just have them there to modify the colors I'm mixing from my primaries. So mix your colors from your primaries. It will look more authentic. It will look more natural. Do not paint straight from tube colors. That looks artificial. So I mix all my colors from my primaries. And then if I need to modify them slightly, I'll use a secondary to quickly do that. My name is Guy Jackson. This is my plein air palette. I hope this information will be of service to you. Hi, I'm Shay Daniel Youngblood, and I've been asked to make a little video about um, my palette. So I'm out here on South Flores, and I am about to paint in plein air, and this is my subject. And here is my palette. I've got titanium white, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, and a cadmium yellow light. Um, I generally just use a limited palette, which is three primaries and then a white. And from that, I can get any number of colors. I just mix them. And I find the simplicity to just make things a little bit easier on me when I'm out. Um, fewer decisions I have to make uh, since I have so many I'm making on the spot. So sometimes I change it up. The other day I was using what's called a Zorn palette, um, which is a black and cadmium red light and uh, a yellow ochre and then white. So again, you've got three primaries and, um, and a white, well, more or less three primaries and a white. So, anyway, I hope that clears things up and maybe you could try that too if you don't already. Hi, this is Louis Garcia, louisgarciaart.com, here in Port Aransas at the Jetties. And uh, I, was gonna, I wanted to show you my palette. I got carried away and started painting, but I'll kind of move closer to it. There's kind of where I'm at with the painting. I had uh, ultra, uh, ultramarine blue, titanium white, violet, uh, Payne's gray, yellow, and burnt umber, and liquid. And I'm trying to capture the, uh, the reflections in the water and the sand and the sea and 
Wow, that was some really good information from three premier outdoor painters, plein air painters. Shea Daniel Youngblood, Guy Jackson, and Luis Garcia. Thank you guys, that was wonderful. And I hope that helped you all out there a little bit to see what's involved with the colors for plein air painting. Uh, and one of the best ways to find out more about that, of course, is to come out and join a group of plein air painters watch what they do and talk to them, and you'll get all sorts of really good ideas. And we need ideas too, so please give us your comments on what you use as your plein air palette and any ideas you'd like to see us do for you on Talking Art. On behalf of the Lotus Gallery, I'm Don Darst, thank you.